Here's the field for race number nine, the Hayes Castleton Farm for trotting two-year-old Colts. Number one, Confident Victory, owned by Brittany Farms, Alistair Stable, Defrost, and Fair Island Farm, Kentucky and Florida, with John Patterson, Jr. 1A, Catch as Catch Can, owned by Catch as Catch Can Stable, Highland Beach, Florida, with Dave McGee. Two, Festival Hall, owned by Ron Michaelon of Chicago. Andy Miller is up. Three, Mystical Honor, owned by Peggy and Jack Hood, Mystical Marker Farms, Valparaiso, Indiana, Homewood, Illinois, with Dirk Simpson. Four, Lantana Oss, owned by ACL Stuteri Incorporated, Beverholm Stable of Sweden and New Jersey, Jimmy Tactor gets a call, and number five, Ships Comanche, owned by Wendy Potter of Paducah, with Randy Jarrell. Those trotters in only three minutes. Short post, three minutes. Here they come. They're off and trotting from the outside. Ships Comanche, but away quicker is Catch as Catch Can down on the inside as they drive toward the turn. Confident Victory will lead them. Catch as Catch Can up on the outside second. Ships Comanche now is dropping back. He'll find room fifth on the rail. Moving up third on the inside is Festival Hall. Getting away fourth, Lantana Oss. And now five, Ships Comanche, settled six early, was Mystical Honor as they're trotting toward the quarter, led by confident victory, John Patterson, Jr. At his back, second is Catch as Catch Can, Stable Mitch trotting 1-2 as they're past the quarter, racing off that quarter and 29-2 headed down the back stretch. Rolling toward the half, being led by confident victory, John Patterson, Jr., being stalked by Catch as Catch Can. The Valley Victory leads the Super Bowl Colt, racing three lengths off them. Third is Festival Hall, an Esquire Spur, two-year-old. Next, fourth along the rail, down the backside, Lantana Oss, a Maclo Bell baby. Racing fifth is Ships Comanche, the balanced image colt, and at the back, as they reach the half, is Mystical Honor, a colt by Sierra Cosmos. They've just reached the half-mile barrier. Confident victory past that station. In a minute flat, he heads them into the final turn. And a very close second is Catch as Catch Can. Right there, third, Festival Hall on the outside. Ranging up fourth now, here comes Ships Comanche out and driving for Randy Gerald. Shuffle back fifth along the rail, Lantana Oss, and trailing as they race toward the three-quarter, Mystical Honor. Field of Trotters in the final turn. The leader, Confident Victory, on the inside, catches Catch Can, second, and Ships Comanche continues his assault. He's now third, shoved three wide, as out ahead of him past the three-quarter comes Catch as Catch Can. Lantana Oss moving fourth on the outside with cover. Along the rail, Festival Hall is five, and Mystical Honor can see them all. Three quarters, 131, they turn down the lane. On the outside, Catch as Catch Catch Can, mounting a strong drive. Confident Victory still leads it by half a length. Coming on still, Ships Comanche can't close anymore. He's third as they race to the wire. Stablemates battling inside. Confident Victory outside catches Catch Can to the wire. Driving photo. Under the wire, third. Ships Comanche. Four, Lantana Oss, but on a break. May have been lapped on by Festival Hall. The trailer was Mystical Honor. That's a photo finish between 1 and 1A. The Ronnie Gerfine trained entry. Trained pair of Confident Victory and Catch as Catch Can. One, two, separated by a whisker in this race for two-year-olds. Into Victory Lane. The trotter that prevailed, giving Johnny Patterson Jr. his second win of the afternoon. Owned by Brittany Farms, Alistair Stable, Defrost, and Fair Island Farm. Here's the Valley Victory Colt, Confident Victory. Jim Sproul again represents Castle and Farm in presentation of the Castle and Farm Trophy. To Myron Bell and other connections, D. Frost of Brittany Farms, the Alistair Stable, and Fair Island Farm. <laughs> 